In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a Corsair keyboard on the PlayStation 5. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Assuming that you have already connected your Corsair keyboard to one of the available USB ports on your PlayStation 5, and you noticed that it isn't doing any inputs when you try to move your mouse, nothing happens inside of a game that has mouse and keyboard support, then there is an additional step that you have to take specifically for Corsair keyboards. To my knowledge, this is going to work for basically all models. So for example, the K55, K68, K70, as long as they are a Corsair keyboard and you have access to the Windows lock key. So the combination that you have to do is to use the key Corsair keyboard and enter it into BIOS mode. To make sure that you get BIOS mode, all that you have to do is hold down the Windows lock key as I've highlighted over here at the top, plus F1. Wait 5 seconds and then release both keys. Now, if your keyboard does not have the Windows lock key as I've highlighted here, then unplug it first, hold down the S key and the B key at the same time, and then plug in your keyboard while holding down S plus B and then release them. Doing these procedures, you should be able to get the Corsair keyboard model working on your PlayStation 5. It is a weird quirk that they have when you connect them to a console, but after this procedure of entering it into BIOS mode, it should work. If for whatever reason you notice that it is still not working on your PlayStation 5, I would recommend checking the manual for your specific model and seeing how to enter BIOS mode in there. As long as you do this procedure when you connect it to a PlayStation 5, you should be able to get it working there. I hope I was able to help you on how to use Keyboard Corsair on your PlayStation 5. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.